<laughs> this, week's, this week's Zol poll. Are you boycotting the Quell? Faux show, hell no. Never supported them anyway. So I'm going to go quite deep on this story because it's one of those truth is stranger than fiction moments. Especially when you get to what we're doing. Because sometimes it can feel like what we're doing is low-key Joe Exotic Carol Baskins when it comes to people on the opposite end of what we're saying. And it becomes so polarized that it becomes weird. But this was truly weird. In this week's CBDNN, the, fault, the cult fighting cannabis legalization. I'm going to take it a little bit longer than usual because this is a weird story that needs telling. Yes. So, the cult fighting against cannabis legalization has made breaking headlines for horrendous accusations. Major brand Aquel bottled water tainted too in a scandal that's only beginning to unravel. Sometimes a tale has so many beginnings that it's difficult to tell where to even start. The home of this story is the, Qu the, the Quasi Bantu Mission, nestled in the picturesque valley of a thousand hills, home to a community first founded in the 60s after an evangelic spiritual experience. It has since become enormously successful in both its religious and business endeavors, most notably for being the home of a quill bottled water. Some truly heavy and hard to hear allegations have been unearthed by a recent News 24 expose. A seven-month investigation has revealed what appears to be a church of horrors. Those who have the heart and the stomach to watch the documentary will witness a trifecta of psychological, physical and sexual abuse claims, much of which involve children as young as five years old, all carried out under the veil of fighting evil through a culture of fear and divine retribution. An investigation being carried out by the Hawks on top of all this regarding a possibly laundered 150 million rand is also raising a lot of eyebrows while major retailers such as Game, Macro, Spa, Woolworths and Food Lovers Market have already started pulling any related products from their shelves. They don't. So, guys, this is weird. The reason I bring this up, because that's the story in itself. Go check out the News 24 thing. Like Oak say, a lot of it's hidden behind the subscription wall. Spoiler alert, we are going to get into spoilers. For those of you who can't do it, I'm going to tell you what fucking yeah. goes down in this yeah. documentary. Because I yeah. did the thing for all y'all, so you don't need to do it. But Joe was hitting on a thing here, because now my first experience, I didn't know this at the time. I had the fortunate vibe of being in a viral video. I got invited to newsroom for the first time ever really on TV, sat down with my fucking Alice Band and shit. And there was this young, smart, <laughs> no beard. smart, intelligent chick sitting in front of me from concerned young people of South Africa and she went off and this chick scored own goal after own goal and the video <laughs> blew up and it went cut viral. I didn't even get home from this thing. It wasn't a long drive and my messages and DMs were blowing up. It was brilliant. <laughs> it was cut funny. So those of you who seen it, remember it. Those who want to go watch it later on, it's worth watching, you know. But she was from concerned young people of South Africa. So this was my first interaction with eventually what is this missionary place because it turns out mm -hmm. following uh, the traditional natural healers alliance i always get it wrong tnha we've put the link in the blog and all that they did a story saying that the protesters cypsa these oaks and doctors for life the oaks who are most chacharach against legalization in the news and in the courts, they They've took the state's side in the trial of the plant. They they took the side of the government against, against cannabis. They paid. The, they bust those kids up. Sponsored by Aquel Water. And they're saying these oaks are all duck with this cult yes, mission, yes. brew. Any of you duck. who were at the trial of the plant in 2017 in Pretoria? 2016, wasn't it? No, 2017. 17. So you would have experienced all of those protesters out mm -hmm. uh, outside the court. Those Lord. are the guys who were bussed up from the cult. I remember they arrived, literally buses. They got t-shirts, they got little mm -hmm. lunch packs. And I remember that clearly that day. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were protesting, they were shouting protesting at us. Ma trying to make us feel like we bad people. Yes, they were shouting at us as if we were the bad, bad people walking into the store at the court. Mm -hmm. They were bussing people in, they gave them anti-cannabis t-shirts sponsored mm -hmm. by the Department of Social Development. 
I remember one of them drew a really pretty picture of a palm tree and tried to yes. pass that off as a yes. weed. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> They're not the brightest sparks out there, let's just say. Well, they can't spell cannabis to start mm. with. And that's the weird thing is this story has so many strings to it now because these people are around. Mm. I didn't put it in my blog, but it turns out that in this documentary, spoiler alert, these oaks worked with the apartheid government to yeah. knock out ANC members. Yes. Mm. Sure. Yes, they did. Yeah. So these oaks were narcs, but also, pardon? Fencers. Fencers, eh? Yeah, they they pre cheese. they preserved themselves yeah. in a situation where you got to admit, like you ask yourself, what would Jesus do? You know, I'm sure he wouldn't knock yes. out the oaks, eh? But these oaks have big money oaks. I am not joking. They have a church there by them. It seats ten thousand people. Yeah. yeah. They have mega pepper farms and dairies and bakeries on something like 400 or 500 it's hectares. It's not very far from Nkandla. It's very close to Nkandla. It's like almost neighboring. I just want to say, and I don't want to harp on a thing, but our dear friend Jules would have done his fucking nut yes. to have been sitting on the couch talking about this oh, cult yeah. <clears throat> since all of this news has come out. Uh, it's he outrageous. He was passionate is... about, about, about his feelings about that whole thing yeah, to look, begin with. There's a lot of famous cult stories. There's um, Wild Wild, Wild Country on, on Netflix, mm -hmm. which is very good. It's a six episode, I think. About Jonestown Hot Massacre, yeah. yeah. Jonestown. There's Kumare. There's Holy Hell. Yeah. There's Children of the Light. Yes. There's all those things. I'm not saying these are one of those cults, because, again, I, it, this is something I tried to touch on in the article. These people have, I'm sure, done a lot of good. Mm. I know they have a lot of good intentions, but we also know, and these guys should know better than most, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So they have done a lot of good, but there is a point now where they, it feels like from what the accusations are in the documentary, because it's lank like mm. if Weinstein happened locally in a way, not with the runner of the cult, but the things that happened to people within the cult, because it seems like w with missionary positions like this, it attracts a lot of broken situations. Well, I mean, priests are well known for their rapey tendencies, aren't they? Just to begin with. But like I was saying, like, is this mission, it was a mission, so was the mission, you know, it must have been start with good intention, and then, because their mission was to help people, educate people, uplift people, yes. give people a chance in life. Well, that's the way a lot of cults start. <laughs> 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 yeah. so and then, uh, then they go uh, corrupt. Uh, ego yeah. and power and money gets in the no, way. Power and money and ego. What was the mission of the mission? Or yeah. was it the person that came in and then just brought the rot in and basically yeah. used the mission's yeah, I'm sure uh, security that it gives other people to take advantage of other people? Well, they are super, super, super conservative. They they pray the gay away uh, on their web Doctors of Life website. They anti-abortion. They want to cure gay people. They want to keep. Yeah, they like. They like pray the gay away. Yeah, <laughs> I think they can. But you know, it really kicked me in the balls. So it turns out the oak. The, if you've heard someone kind of Loki say, uh, "Dacha is the devil" on TV, it could be someone from DFL. Particularly their, their CEO, Albu, Albu van Yerden. Mm. Yeah, he's so, got YouTube videos you can go and watch. They're hilarious. Yeah, but it turns out as well, at this cult, he's one of the main preachers. Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> no, his brother is one of the main preachers. No, he's one of the main Buzz preachers. Buzz has done, done, done the digging. Buzz has done the digging. But you know what pisses me off more than anything else? Albu gets more views than us. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Not by far. But come on, Oaks, like, share, subscribe. My fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Expose the infections. Yeah. So yeah, guys, between between this, the concerned young people of South Africa, uh, the people who were bust into the trial of the plant, uh, the chick Daryline James and her dude there, who again the bots are going to hate us for saying all the things we're saying. These guys stood up the trial of the plant and they said a death will make you rape. Your mom. <laughs> Meanwhile, back faces. at the cult, it's the it's the it's parents raping the, the kids. They yeah. the now they're not a virgin anymore. They get kicked right. out. Now, meanwhile, back at the cult. Called a whore. Yeah. Nah. Maybe the cult leader was smoking weed, and then you know they thought that this is what it does. So that's the weird thing. Is I'm going to be honest. They don't really say he touched anyone in particular, 
but that he turned a blind eye. And it seems what the culture of, was in this cult is that when a young person, particularly a child, was feeling confused because they give very mixed mess messages, like boys and girls couldn't socialize and things like that, mm. it was very, very conservative. But when people do get to that age of curiosity and confusion, that there were people within the cult who would prey on that. And when the kids did come forward to their parents or to the cult leader, the cult leader would victim blame them mm -hmm. and tell them it's their fault. Double down. Mm -hmm. For thinking and being yeah. like that. Yeah, and then that person would be yeah. even more trapped with the person yeah, who's in preying the documentary on that an analyst that knows exactly the psychological behavior of why something can be classified a cult. And in the documentary he goes through it step by step and he points all of these things out and shows us how in this instance it, it is evidence that it is a cult. So yeah. it's clearly proven. Quite shocking that it was allowed to go on for that long and that the scary bit is that it's still going. That it's mission still is going. still functioning and there's yeah. still young women trapped there that are abused. I'm sure you Watch it. Everybody well. should go watch this doggy. Yeah. I'm least, sure the abuse was not least. just uh, contained to the woman. It, yeah. Yeah, abuse doesn't discriminate. Though. Yeah, in the documentary, they only really show women, but I'm sure the men were also abused. It's yeah, usually, usually the ones that don't get mentioned is when they're abused. But they, they were saying also, it wasn't just like sexual, it was like completely psychological as well. Like they were saying the one kid, like he peed himself on stage because he was so afraid because they were yeah. going to give him mm -hmm. six of the best or something. And apparently also they pulled down his pants or something to embarrass him. I'm not 100% sure. Guys, these are such heavy accusations. Also, I want to walk a... niece was raped. And he told her it was her fault. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it's like... They usually do. It's so heavy. I don't even know what to say. It's like Epstein and Weinstein yeah. had a low-key sort of Zulu baby it's thing. Parasite. It's... It's... it's same parasite. And you it's don't a, hear about these things in the cannabis community, hey? Look, Aquel started in 97. When did the mission start? 60s. 60s. So, the mission started on the day <laughs> them and a bunch of oaks had a, a very intense religious experience at this place. And then they decided that's it. So it started in 66. And then they discovered water there. They discovered a spring there, but it was a massive farm, massive farm that his brother or someone had bought and had given him half of because they were a brother of four Germans. Okay. And they, their family had come to the country like 100 years ago. So they're OG, like OG in the country, but still very German. And the Oaks flamboyant and he smashes German, Zulu, English, Afrikaans like a boss. They say the Bali who started the cults, getting a bit doolally now. He reminds me of L. Ron Hubbard from the Scientologists. Ne? Ne? Ooh, we're also yeah. not allowed to speak about that. <laughs> yeah. Always, where's Shelly Miscavige, Oaks? Yeah. For those who ask. <coughs> it's just, it's so weird though, because these guys... Honestly, from a cannabis perspective, we never saw any of this coming. We didn't mark these oaks so much no. just because they kept nying us on the weed thing. Yeah, bad every vibes. move, every move, bad they vibes. blocked, they blocked, they blocked, they blocked. Fully busted. And then eventually some of them time. came to the cannabis conference. They wasted our money, they wasted the court's time, they wasted the, time. <laughs> yeah, they wasted they the professor's the time. time. Yeah. Yes, they were there. They wasted our time then. Well, if we did our own the little, our time. own little like investigation, then we would have exposed this. Yeah. <laughs> Because Donald yeah. Abrams didn't even give evidence, right? Because of them. Because of them, yeah. yeah. Also because of the live uh, streaming. No, yeah, Donald, yeah, it was Donald Abrams. Three days. Yeah. But there's still plenty of time after it. Well, the trial's not done. Yeah, we're going back. Done. And I'm sure they'll ship them back up again if they haven't been closed down. Uh -huh. I think they've got other things to focus on right now. I don't think they're going to bother with cannabis anymore. You sure they're not going to do like a nice little red flag sideshow? <laughs>